the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. That I would never, I told God, I went home, went in my bathroom, shut the door, and cried for the next two hours. Woo! And I told God, I repented, I told him I was sorry, and I gave him this word. You will never have that problem out of me again. Mm. When I step in the pulpit now, from that day forward, I'm trusting God. I don't care what he said to me last week. I don't care what happened last week. Yeah. I'm looking for God to say something to me. You better say something. Woo! <laughs> I ain't going. <laughs> I ain't going until you tell me. <laughs> you better say so. But see, you can you can get in position with God, and you can know. So before every time before I preach, I always would go outside and get away from people, and I would mm. remind God, "You called me to preach. I mm, yeah. I accepted the call. I believe you can use my life." Now I spent time in the book. I spent time on my knees. I spent time in fellowship and communion with you. But I ain't got no clue what you want to say. Wow. Now, I'm going to yeah. go here and I'm going to read this verse that, that, that I studied and looked at. And I'm going to look to you to take that thing and work with it. Because you yeah. think he's he going to give you something to say. All, he going to be pointing out verses to you all along. Mm -hmm. He has not failed me to this day. Amen. But I ain't never went back and got yeah. one of them old ones and tried to use it. Listen, this thing is based yeah. on faith. Yeah. Every time I set foot in the pulpit, I'm in the pulpit by faith. Mm. Amen. And so when I tell you that faith is something that God works in you, mm -hmm. that it comes, the scripture said. And I got no sense. If it if, if faith has anything to do with if faith is spiritual, it can't come from me. Wow. <laughs> Whoa! Mm -hmm. Woo! Hey, listen, I, I, I'm sorry, I'm trying to offend y'all, and it can't come from you either. Woo! Amen. I know that. <laughs> hey, it's the way Oracle died. <laughs> See, when the word of God is preached, I believe that God knows your heart. Yeah. Like nobody else knows your heart. Amen. Yeah. He knows whether or not that word is being humbly embraced and accepted. He know what you thinking about your neighbor. You thinking applies to somebody else. Woo! But when the word is preached, it is preached to you. Amen. And when and God can discern, he, he, he can discern the character, the nature, the condition of your heart. He know when that word has found a home in you. Mm. And when, when he know that you, when you ain't, you ain't, listen, he say, in the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Come on now. See, it's a whole lot of times you heard the word of God preach and you swole up on the inside. Woo! Stony ground. Yes, sir. It ain't coming Anybody through. Anybody up inside me? Hey, I hear you. <laughs> listen, you know it's you. Yes, sir. But you, you, you too big, like I was in that poofy, you too big to tell the folk, you know what? I'm just running my mouth. I ain't got nothing to say. God ain't said nothing to me. Woo! See, but see, we're afraid to do that. Why are we afraid to do that? And if God ain't said nothing to you, why are you going to get up there and pretend he said something to you? Yeah, that's something. Because, you see, our, our, our biggest problem is our ego and our pride. Mm -hmm. And we want to be well thought of by men. And now I've learned that you better be well thought of by God. By God. Amen. So Dude, it says that. that faith cometh. It mm -hmm. didn't tell you where it cometh from. Yes. <laughs> and I don't get in the world long enough to know it don't come from me. Woo! Because <laughs> if it comes from now. me, if it comes from me, I can control it. Uh-huh. <laughs> But I believe that it's God wrought so that everything now stays in the sovereign hands of God. And ain't nobody stealing nothing. Yeah. Ain't nobody robbing God or nothing. Cause God got this thing all inside of his sovereign yeah. power. Amen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Amen. He speaks 
That's and good when word. You condition your heart to the place where you can accept it, and he see that you humbly accept it. I believe at that moment, they happen right there. What, what are you saying? You said not the, who's when they was it in this parable? The devil comes and takes the word. So you saying that the, the devil can't steal something? He can't steal. He can't steal God's word. No, no. What I'm saying is, is that listen. From the day that you were born, God is constantly, continually, always working in your life. Okay. You just don't know it. Amen. Amen. You are just like blind Bartimaeus. You can't see it. Amen. 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 God is working. I, I guarantee you, there have been some times in your life that you were at a point of death. Death was standing right beside you. You didn't even know it. Mm. Amen. Mm. All of us. Listen, I'm going to give a testimony. I was at a nightclub one night with my brother, who had just got a, a new car, a Mustang. We had got these two girls that we have always wanted to get with. We had them in the car. My brother was going to, they said, can y'all take us home? My brother like, yes, ma'am, we can. They got in the car. My brother told me to get in. I mm -hmm. got in. We got the two girls that we've always wanted. Okay, amen. My brother pulls off, but I said to my brother, take me home. Mm -hmm. My brother looked at me and said, what, is, is, what you say? I said, take me home. Mm -hmm. He said, man. No, we have a conversation. He said, man. Music plays that. Man, we got the girls in the car that we've all been trying to get. What you mean I take you home? Mm -hmm. Now, I cannot explain to you. I have absolutely no rationale for why I wanted to go home. Mm -hmm. All I know, it was in my heart to go home. My brother got fired mad with me. Took me home. Put me out. Which? <laughs> and uh, right. take the girls home. <laughs> took the two girls home. On the way back home. On the way back home, had a fatal accident. No. No. Listen, he survived it. Okay. But the passenger side of the car, uh -huh. where I would have been sitting, yes, was tore up. If I had been in that car, if I had went home went with him to take those girls home, I would have been in that car with him when he had that ring. Mm. Mm. Now, I can explain why I wanted to go home. It didn't make no sense. To, the girl that I wanted to get with is in the back seat. Why in the world do I want to go home? Mm. But you see, God is at work in our lives all around us. Yeah. We don't even know it. Yeah. Amen. I believe that. I'm convinced beyond a sound of a doubt. Saved my life that night. Mm. Mm. Broke, my, broke my brother's leg. He stayed in the hospital, tore up that car, man, in a little, little 65 Mustang. Mm -hmm. If I'd have been in that car. Pass inside, we're gone. What I'm telling you is that God is working in the lives of, of, of all unsaved people. Mm -hmm. All of their lives, he's working in their lives, trying to get through to them. Allowing certain things to happen to them, allowing certain situations, orchestrate certain things, having some people witness to you, testify to you, say things to you. But you ain't ready for it yet. But he's got to keep working on you and keep working on you and keep working on you. He got to finally get you to the place where finally one day you say, Oh, I saw some move. I, I saw some. Okay. I saw a crack in that heart saw. I saw a crack in that, in that wayside saw. I saw it soften. He's trying to get the word in there. So it can conceive. Yeah. And all I'm saying to you is that that conditioning is happening in every individual life on a custom, individual, unique basis. Yes, sir. Every human being is uniquely being dealt with by God. And that is why Jesus said, No man can come to me. Mm. Yes, sir. Except the Father. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You know, Amen. You know, you know, tell me you were looking for God. You weren't looking for God. <laughs> You're running from that, God. That, that might be your opinion. You were being drawn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
God, with cause of mercy and cause of grace and cause of love, God is lovingly, compassionately, patiently, long suffering and drawing you. Mm. Loving kindness that I draw on you. And he he yeah. just doesn't drew you, he just doesn't drag you for so long and you finally you come to your senses. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That pay, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> People hear from God. It's just what they want to hear from God. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't want to hear what he had to say because see, I, wanna, I, I still then, want to sleep with the women. Huh? I still want to sleep with the women. I still want to throw that man water. I still want to go to the party. I'm having a good time. So I thought. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. So I'm saying to you is that you see, I believe that faith is something that God works in you. Works in you. He did say he begins that work. He's the one that begins the work. If Man, a good I'm, work. I'm, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show it to you in the Bible. I don't you think I made it up? Look at John chapter six, verse number 28. John 6, 28. Now in verse in, in number 28, Jesus is talking to these people that have been fed. And they go looking for him because they really they want to get fed again. <laughs> they want yeah. The, yeah, they want the physical piece to be in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> he said in verse number 26, he said, listen, he said, Bailey, Jesus answered, answered him and he said, Bailey, Bailey, I say unto you, you seek me not because you saw the miracle. You, you ain't seeking me because you saw God doing something with me. Hmm. But because you did eat it alone and were filled. Filled. <laughs> you were hungry. You, 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 you're trying to get some more bread. <laughs> <laughs> See, you can't be looking for Jesus for the wrong reason. <laughs> See, Jesus yeah. wasn't drawing you. Jesus wasn't drawing you to give them that kind of bread. He's gonna tell them later on. Well, I'm trying to give you some bread, but it is the bread that go in your belly. It was bread of life. So he says. Yes, sir. Number, he says in verse number number twenty-seven, labor not for the meat which perishes, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life yeah which the son of man shall give unto you for him hath god the father sealed mm. verse 28 then said they unto him what shall we do that we might work the works of god yes sir <laughs> let me tell you something you will be wise to spend some time with that phrase because that phrase is actually the key to Jesus' whole ministry. They asked him, okay. how can we work the works of God? Hmm. This is what Jesus answered them. Jesus, in verse 29, and Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God. Yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah. You believe Look at on that him. Yeah. He said, this is, is the work of God. Uh-huh. What God works in you is to believe on, me, on him that he sent. Amen. If, if you believe on the one that he sent, that's how the work of God. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't you. This, yeah. that, this is the work of God. That if somebody can believe on the Son, that's the work of God. Mm. Yeah, you had to break that down even more. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you see, now Jesus said, he said, the words that I, let, let me show you what Jesus said about himself. Flip over to John chapter 14. Verse number eight, for the sake of time, Philip. Philip says, uh, look here. 
Philip you know said to him, Lord, show us the Father. And it suffices us. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to him, Dog, go <laughs> I've been all this time with you. <laughs> Jesus said, Jesus said, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? Mm -hmm. He that has seen that has seen me has seen the Father. And how saith the how saith the is show us the Father. Now listen to what he said. Believe it thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Hmm. 